Alrighty, our first AOM Fundamentals game is gonna be with Loki. Happy days. Um, we're gonna jump straight onto these hippos here. Uh, I'm not gonna be trying to drag them in. I'm gonna be playing this very, very simply. I did drag them in here, but we are gonna be um, getting ourselves another ox cart anyways. And we're gonna start getting scouting around on this position like this. This dwarf here is gonna come over to this side. Uh, and then we're going to be putting villagers onto a wood line over here. Uh, I might actually drop these off and then move my ox cart over here. And we are off to the races. So this build order again, this is just the standard Loki build order. It works on every single map. And we're going to run around the map like this and see what happens. Okay, so oh, let's get rid of this one here. Fantastic. Dwarf comes out at this point. Uh, if you want this build order in a, in a better explained way, uh, I think I've got the every build order you need uh, up very very early on in the uh, in the old Age Mythology retold cycle in the beta. Uh, but I will be doing a rerun of every single build order, a little bit more modern. Uh, these build orders right now might be might be applicable, might not be. Uh, so we're, we're playing against Kronos here, and we're going to have to start worrying about all of our problems in our main base. So what's the problems? We've got chickens over here, we've got berries over here, we've got this gold mine. This gold mine's a little bit open, so I want to be able to defend that first and foremost. This is the most important thing. Uh, I'm looking at my base here, seeing gold mines over here. Got a nice town center there with a gold mine in front of it, so that one's going to be a very valid option to go for. Um, normally, I would say against Kronos, it's got a great gold mine behind it. Normally against Kronos, I would say don't go for far second town center with Norse. We can play a one town center game here. Uh, so I'm going to go for one town center. If he goes two town centers, I'm going to go two town centers. That's the style uh, I want to go for here. So we're just going to be massing units and trying to secure uh, our map as best as we possibly can. I need another dwarf. No, I don't. You get three dwarfs first, then you drop a temple is the kind of plan. I'm going to drop my temple over here. And then I'm going to go send my uh, berserk forward and see if I can't not find myself uh, some, some sort of spy. Because we want that spy to know what they're going to be doing. Uh, Loki is probably one of the best gods for knowledge is power. Because you get to see quite a lot of what your opponent's up to. And that can be very, very useful. Now, I do notice that his oracle is here. It's going to be able to deconstruct this position. Uh, so we do have to be a little bit careful for that. But um, hopefully we can just get the dude out and we're going to be okay. But we'll see. Let's move over onto this one here. And um, we're going to get ourselves a dwarf out as soon as we possibly can. Alright, and now we're going to go and find him his gold. And, oh not his gold, his base. I want to spy him and see what he's doing. Alright, and we're going to be advancing here through Force Eddie. There we go. There we go. A little bit late, but it's fine. I could have force dropped, but we're trying to make this as easy as possible. Uh, I also want to start working towards... Oh, okay, so we can't get that. Let's come back. Let's drop the temple down. Now, because of this, I actually think I might need to build myself a berserk here. Actually, okay, so here's advance really quickly. So I'm going to build this really, really safe right underneath my town center here because he's, he's going to want to run in and get some damage on me. Uh, so our, the way of defending against this is just to pull back and sit underneath our town center. No problems. Just sit back underneath our town center. All good. I don't mind. If he wants to attack me, he can attack me. And we're just going to get ourselves some stuff. We'll just move in here and we'll just run. Okay. Now we've got ourselves a defense. We're going to come over here. Put our guys back. Get our guys out. And then we're off to the race. It's back over onto the hunt. Very, very simple. We're going to do this very, very often against these sorts of uh, aggressive openings. Just simply pull villagers back under our town center and be okay. Uh, all right. Now, I still don't know what my opponent's doing here. And now this is really causing me a lot of grief here. So I want to ensure that we go and do that. So what I'm going to do, first and foremost, is I'm going to get this up and I'm going to go and look. Because I've got no idea. So I'm going to send this guy into his base and see if he's going for a town center or what. And because I don't know, I'm going to cover all of my angles here and build everything under the sun. 
I'm also going to get myself this healing spring down. And we're going to send out Berserkin to spy. And we're just going to get villagers onto food here. Uh, now, the next part here is I need to ensure that this top side over here is nice and... Oop, nice and safe. Okay. Can we keep him alive? Okay, we got the spy. He's got a lot of villagers on gold. Not sure what that means. But we're just going to keep building dudes. I'm sending this guy over to this side to wall this up. Hopefully we can. It's going to let us. That's good. Oh, I found an oracle. I will kill that. All right. Easy enough to defend. So, now we're just going to spam units out until we know what's happening, because I've got no idea. We can also get ourselves this upgrade here. Actually, no, we need to get our upgrades. That's right, we're playing Fundamentals. Let's get those coming in. All right, Sharon's Herbal. Let's just scout around the map. In his main base, we see Counter Barracks and a temple there. Now, these guys can move over onto this here, because we've gotten those walls up. And we're going to send our dudes over onto this spot. I want to wall this up as well, if I possibly can. So we're going to go do that. Big wall. Big nice wall. And we're going to just get some dudes out. Okay, we can do this. I'm over here. Wall this up. It's a very, very excessive wall, but that's what we're going for. I still don't know what he's building. He hasn't shown me it. I can see this much here, but I'm, I'm not seeing anything. So what I'm a little bit worried about is him just having not sent the... Oh, he's building these guys. Okay. So I do need to get myself some raiding cavalry. So what I'll do is I'll get myself another one of these buildings. And I better go and see if he's get, he's gotten a town center. So I'm going to sack a hearser somewhere on the map to just see what's happening. There's this really, really nice upgrade, Eyes in the Forest, I'm also going to grab. Um, it's kind of technically a military upgrade, but we're going to grab it first anyways. And then we're going to grab all of the rest of our upgrades. Just in case he is... Uh, he's doing something here. Uh, okay. So we can also throw a house down over here. And this is going to be getting us a lot of information on the map. Okay. So knowledge is power. Power is knowledge. Uh, we're going to still scout around, see what's happening. He's got his towers up. Oh, okay. So I see three Kyraballister over here and a bunch of those Hursa. No, not Hursa, a bunch of these guys. I think I can win this fight. I'm not going to micro it. I'm just going to send my guys forward. Just attack move. I, I feel like he doesn't have a whole lot of stuff here. So this is a fight I know I'm fairly, I'm fairly certain I can win. I'm also going to get this upgrade here uh, and chase him down. Now, I don't know if he's leading me anywhere, so I'm just going to kill that unit, retreat back. I might pick up that relic on the way and just pull back into my base. Okay, so... Oh, okay, we won. GG. That one was a very solid way of defending against Rush. Uh, and I think we got we got our, our little spot over here nice and defended, and he just couldn't get any pressure on. I think I should have identified this as a weakness because he could have come in this way. And, uh, and getting this one uh, under attack. Uh, unfortunately, did not happen. And he wanted to go all out on me. And unfortunately, he couldn't quite make it work. Anyways. GG. Okay. So we're going to be playing as Kronos here. Okay, so against Gaia, we can definitely go for our two town center place. So we're going to be going for that. Um, and what I might do here is I might go through Leto in this one rather than going through... Um, something else. Uh, so first things first, we're going to jump onto wood and jump onto gold. I believe this is the way we played it, first and foremost, uh, in the in the build order series that I put out ages ago. But if it's not, it's not. Uh, and effectively, we're we're going to be going for a 355 advance into a town center as the idea. Now, there's one thing I've got to be worried about, which is my opponent going for Carnivora. But the good thing is I'm going to have two automatons out to help me defend against it if, if, uh, if he decides to throw that down onto me. I'm going to drop him in with a good luck. Have fun. Okay, in our main base, we've got a really, really nice gold mine. There's a little bit of a defensive liability here, but this position is really, really nice. Uh, so we should be okay here to, to not worry too much. 
Okay, I'm just gonna scout out. We got a fantastic town center over here with the with the hunt there as well. Let's move this guy forward so we can scout that out a little bit more efficiently. We found ourselves a relic with range. Soldier points have 10% more HP. Definitely worth picking that up if we've got the time and the resources, but there's no sense in rushing it. Um, I said I wanted to defend this position first and foremost. Actually. In hindsight, okay. I don't need to because I'm going to get this town center and that's going to lock this off uh, as, a, as a point that he can attack. So I'm just going to put okay. both of these down. Actually, what we can do here, even better. Uh, no, never mind. Okay. Let's just put it there. All right. Okay, so we're just going to stay on this wood line. Again, we're going for a later advance, so it's all good. Uh, let's move this guy over here to the center of the map. So yeah, later advance to get this town center up. Uh, nothing too special. I'm going to throw down like two manors and then get the maybe one manor extra and then get the town center up. I'm going to time shift those over there to get that town center going a bit quicker. Uh, but we are playing against Gaia and Gaia does have the better economy. Uh, but we are still going to be playing the fundamentals because that's how this stuff can work. Get this back onto gold, get another two villages out, and then we're off to the races. Uh, this guy's going to come back up to this side. And we're just getting all the information we possibly can. We see some gold mines up here. I need to find where my gold mines are so I can make sure I don't just lose on that. Uh, that's going to be really, really important. So we're already thinking about second gold mines at this point. We've, we've, we've kind of committed to our strategy. We can always move away from it if our opponent does something different. But that's the strategy we're trying to commit to and trying to figure out. Um... How much food is left in this? Let's do some quick math. I can't select it. 100? There's enough. Okay. So we're going to send ourselves a village over here. Two villages over here. And we're going to go through Leto. Actually, let's send even more. And we're going to put a house down. Don't really need more than one citizen on this when we're going for these sorts of town centers here. I'm trying to see what he's doing. We're going to put our, our our dude over there, and... I think that's in range of that, so we'll start doing that now. It's pretty quick, so it's not that big of a deal. we got plenty of, plenty of this here, so let's get onto the gold. Need to get that up as we can. Can I move this one into here? Does that cost resources to move? I don't think so. Okay, so these villages can now all move over onto this. Alright, over here. Are you? I think you are. Okay, we're going to drop ourselves a spider layer on this spot. And we're just going to get our town center up. I think you're moving, but I'm just going to double check. Okay, so we've got... Our dude Reno is in position to defend against anything. He's gone through Leto as well. Okay. Wonderful. Right, let's take these villages off of this. Uh, and start working towards our next stuff. I see this guy over here, so... I don't want him to see what I'm doing, but I want to see what he's doing. So we're just trying to move in. And just see if we can figure out what his plan is. Uh, I don't see a whole lot. Oh, I need to get some wood in. Okay, let's get some wood in, otherwise we're going to be fine. I can't see anything here. So let's check out this. He's getting a town center. He's not getting the town center. Let's pull back. I don't know what he's doing, but... Uh, okay, let's, we've got enough food income now. So now we have to start thinking about buildings. These guys are safe. These guys are safe. These guys aren't safe here, so let's just come and protect this. Oh, he's getting relics. I wanted to get this relic over here. I thought this one was nice. So let's come onto that. What's this relic over here? Nothing. Okay, what we can do, because I'm not 100% sure what he's doing. I'm going to drop my economic guild and get my economic upgrades in first. Um, I'm just not sure what he's doing. That's the problem here. So I'm just going to get upgrades and, and make sure I'm, I'm competing with him economically speaking. Otherwise, it's going to be a challenge. Now, I still haven't found myself... Any good gold spots down the bottom side of the map? I think this is the only spot that I've got the gold in. Let me grab this relic. Bring it 
back home. Uh, and we're going to drop ourselves a barracks and a counter barracks. Because you can only build a certain amount of units, so we should be okay to play around that. And let's get ourselves this upgrade next. Uh, okay. We've gotten those upgrades. Fantastic. I want to see this town center if he goes for it. And I want to see this town center if he goes for it. Okay. Next is going to be this one. And we're just going to start making units at the moment. I think that's a good plan. Uh, and then when, when we get a unit out, I'm going to send it forward and I'm going to just scout him. Uh, I, I don't need to do any damage with it. I just need to be aware that it's on the map. Again, I put my control groups down onto these bad boys here. And I'm going to get myself myth units and all the other good stuff out as well. So I've got an answer to everything that he might have. It's the most important thing, right? Okay, we're also going to get ourselves... Uh, uh, no, we're not. Just trying to see what he's building. He's got himself a counter barracks. Yep, there's a whole bunch of terma. Okay. So, I think we're going to need a whole bunch of... We could make terma ourselves. Let's go for that. Let's go for terma ourselves. Uh, also, because he's going terma here, I'm going to start getting these walls up. Because Terma, the big weakness that he's got with the Terma... Oh, what's this? That's some monkeys over there. Okay, so we saw that. So I'm going to come over and defend my dudes. I'm also going to come over here and I'm going to put some walls up onto this position here. The weakness of Terma is they can't get through walls. Oh, I see a guy over there. So I'm actually going to come over here and actually attack this because I don't, I don't want him to have that position there. Uh, that would be silly for me to just give it to him. Okay, we also want to protect this. Actually, can we do this? Does this ever work? I've never tried this. Hey! Haha, <laughs> the more you know, the stronger you become. Alright, we're going to get ourselves our upgrades as well. And keep getting ourselves these guys. As we need to get set up onto this. He's still on one talent center. So I'm pretty comfortable here just spamming units. I do have to be somewhat concerned about the next uh, going to the next age. Um, these villagers over here can move onto my berries. And then these guys can actually come over onto wood. Let's keep getting these walls up. Over here. Just defending ourselves nicely. This guy on this position can get a house. Uh, let's start time shifting houses around so we can have those. Oh, we got another nice gold mine there. Uh, let's get ourselves another barracks down. Get ourselves the manor down as well. Uh, these guys all onto wood seems like a perfectly reasonable idea. Oh, he's attacking us. Okay, let's run. Uh, and I was in position to defend that, but not anymore. Okay, just a little bit of damage onto him there. Might actually drop myself another temple here so I can actually spend these resources I've got or this favor I've got on on stuff. Uh, all right, we're going to put ourselves another thing over there. Uh, we need to get an armory. That's right. This is part of the... The plan. I'm going to get some more houses over here. I need to know what he's doing. So let me go and scout him and see if I can figure it out. Because he might be trying to sneak out like a next age or something. Let me get all of, our, all of our economic upgrades and start working towards farms. Let's jump onto this. Let's get our armory upgrades. Get some more automatons. Get this. We can get that upgrade. There's an economic, technically an economic upgrade to get us some more stuff in there. He's got a couple of automatons there. Uh, I'm still not sure what he's doing, but I'm not sure exactly how how else I'm supposed to prepare for this apart from just say, no worries, you go for it, uh, and call it a day. If he goes to the next age, we need to be ready for it. So I'm just going to build a whole bunch of farms over here. A house. I can't build a house. Let's get me a house on that to protect our villager. And then we're going to come over and build uh, another wall. 
Over on this spot here, we could probably think about getting this wall up. Okay. Come over there and try and kill that guy. Get those upgrades in. Chase him down. Get this upgrade in. I'm going to build a couple more buildings here because we need more. Just because I've got a lot of resources. Okay, now he's going for a town center. So we could go and attack that because we know it's there. I'm going to retreat this guy back. And I'm going to start attempting to get myself to the next age here. These guys over here can just get more farms. I still need more villages on gold. This town center can come up to here, right? Or well, these town centers can come up to here. Okay. Let's get some more gold in. Alright. And next part is, we just go next age, I guess. Uh, so, we could go this one. I think the, I think the Hyperion is going to give me a little bit more value here. And because he's gone two town centers, we can actually grab ourselves on the town center, right? I can get this upgrade to be able to time shift some more stuff would be nice. All right, we got all our upgrades. As we're advancing, we're gonna get all of those. Um, yeah. Oh, he's attacking us down there. Okay, what is that? It's just a whole bunch of baboons. No worries. We get some more barracks up. I don't know what army he's going just yet, so I need to go and figure that out as again. I know he was making some automatons and some other stuff but he's going through Thea no worries what are these guys doing over here okay that's what he's got he's got he's just got a whole bunch of terma so what I'm thinking here is if I'm going to counter this army, I think I can just go in with Contarius. I think Contarius is going to be a great unit to just kind of swap into. Uh, I'm also going to get this. I'm going to get this upgrade. This upgrade got a lot of Terma, so I may as well. What's up here? Okay, we need to come over here and wall this off. He's getting his own walls up. That's fine. Okay. Let's get this upgrade. Uh, and we're off to the races with all of those. Okay, now we can start getting these upgrades as well. I can probably get myself a couple of these heroes out. Not heroes, but automatons out, whatever they're called. Let's go into wood. Got a lot of villages on on gold. I think I got way too many on gold. So let's take those off. And now we're just going to start making ourselves these guys. And we're going to start slowly pushing forward here and grabbing even more gold mines. I'm going to come over here and see if I can, can, can deny. Oh, hello. He's in the center of the map. Let's run away. I'm not actually sure if I win this fight or not. Well, that's, that's definitely winnable. So we will uh, sit there and just attack move and take this spot. He's going to run away. I don't know what's behind him. I don't want to follow him and find out. I, I'm going to build a whole bunch of these guys into heroes here. I'm going to get this upgrade. All those upgrades are coming through. All right. Uh, we've got all these ones. I might get that upgrade afterwards as well. Uh, what other upgrades do we need? I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, I might get another... Oh, hello. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. What has he got? 100% sure. Now, I think I can win this fight with a nice chaos, so I'm just going to chaos these Terma here, and I'm just going to sit here and attack with. I will do a little bit of uh, hero micro. That's the extent of it, but I don't think I need to at the moment. I'm just going to get another palace up on this spot, and I'm going to build myself a whole bunch of uh, what are they called? 
Contarius. Contarius is going to be everything. And I'm going to build more Terma because Terma also counter what he's building. I don't see him building anything else. There's no Mermillo here. There's nothing else. So I'm just going to be going for a complete counter into what he's building at the moment. I see him going for a, uh, a cheeky little thing over there. Let's come on to this. Oh, and we got the win. So... Standard boom, we knew we were one town center in front, so we can just sit on that and not risk doing anything silly with any attacks. We can just sit back, make sure all our citizens are nice and safe. He tried to get us with a couple of monkey raids, but nothing really working out too well for him in that one. So yeah, the far second town center and play defensive well, with that scouting works very, very nicely. Uh, but a nice, a nice second win here. Uh, if you take a look at what he was doing, he did have his upgrades as well, so that's nice. But he was missing, and the reason we won that fight so hard was because he's missing those armory upgrades. So it's very important to make sure you got all of those things in. And if you take a look at mine, I'm just about to get that copper or bronze shield as well. Anyways, GG.